ready to separate fact from fiction? Let's get started. Before email, computers could send messages, but only on the same machine. Imagine leaving a digital sticky note for someone, but you both had to use the same giant mainframe. Early programs like SNDMSG let users drop text files for each other, but the messages never left that computer. Everything changed with ARPANET, the first real computer network. Suddenly, computers at different universities could connect, but sending a message across the network was a new challenge. It wasn't just about leaving a note, it was about building a digital postal system. Programmers needed a way to address messages so they'd reach the right person on the right machine. This was the turning point, when simple messaging began to evolve into true electronic mail. The groundwork was set for something revolutionary. Email as we know it was about to be born. Enter Ray Tomlinson, the engineer who, in 1971, sent the first message between two networked computers. 